In business, while economic experts argue against the termination of the fuel import deal with Kenya, the Ministry of Energy insists that the amendments in the Petroleum Supply Act are the long-awaited answer to Uganda's fuel conundrum. Hakim Wampamba reports. The erratic nature of fuel prices in Uganda has for long been a pain to many Ugandans. In efforts to find a lasting solution, the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development is seeking to amend the Petroleum Supply Act of 2003 to grant the Uganda National Oil Company monopoly as a supplier of fuel to the local oil marketing companies. This proposal has already been tabled in Parliament. While appearing on NBS's Morning Breeze show, Ministry of Energy spokesperson Solomon Moita explained the technical validations of the proposal. We want to ensure that UNOC supplies in a way that the consumer, the final consumer, enjoys the lowest pos possible prices at the pump. For her part, the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development, Ruth Nankabirwa, revealed that Kenya has pushed Uganda into a hard place, making the move inevitable. On the 7th of April, what Kenya did when there were shortages of the petroleum products they, the minister made an announcement and said that all the products now go to the domestic OMCs in Kenya. So we were left without supplies because preference was done for the domestic OMCs in Kenya. Whereas licensed oil marketing companies have been tight-lipped on this matter, Nankabira says that some had wanted to take it rather than the Uganda National Oil Company as the only player. Concerns have been raised about the process of arriving at Vito Bahrain as the lead supplier to UNOC beginning January 2024 with its capacity to supply and the implications for the country's reserves under question. Minister Nankabira has been quick to allay these concerns. These guys have a refinery. When you Google Vito, 500 billion you know, turnover. The others also wanted Bambi. They wanted. So they are saying monopoly, monopoly. But what are the dom local OMCs saying? To the oil marketing companies that are operating in Uganda, questions loom and linger as to whether this is not going to affect the operations. They are not going to be disenfranchised. You know, come supply. You know, is not going to be a distributor. However, economist Dr. Fred Mohumuza has reasons to believe that government would have shot itself in the foot if it takes on such a move. The challenge is in Uganda we always have our local conversations. We are forgetting that the external people are also watching our conversations with interest. Even when government says that this move is intended to reduce the pump prices, economists argue that without a regulatory body, the dream of stable prices of fuel will be hard to attain as the determinants are likely exogenous. Uganda uses over 1.5 million liters of petroleum each day from its 1,047 licensed fuel stations. Hakim Wampamba, NBS. Live at 9.